Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. In this video, we are going to build a dictionary app using Python. This is going to be a desktop application. This is a very simple process by making use of PyDictionary package in Python. So the first step is you have to install PyDictionary using this command from the command prompt. pip install PyDictionary. So after installing PyDictionary, you can also install Google Trans. I have used Google Trans package in this project so that I will be able to translate the word to Tamil language. You can translate it into any other language based on your requirement. So to do that, I have installed pip install Google Trans double equal 4.0.0 hyphen RC1. Simply if you give the statement pip install Google Trans, the translator doesn't work. So I have used this. After doing this, let's start with the project. So I have four import statements. We are using TK inter package, which is a built-in package in Python. From this, we are importing everything and also the message box. If the word is given wrongly, we can show an error message using this message box. Then from PyDictionary package, we are importing PyDictionary and from Google Trans package, we import translator. Okay. We have two functions here. One is to find out the meaning of the word given. So that is meaning function. And another one is to refresh all the contents to delete the contents of the previously searched word. So we'll see configuration of the dictionary app. We are creating object for TK inter class. We are setting the title, geometry and disable the feature of resizing the window and configure it with the background color. Before going on to the GUI widgets, let me show you how this app works. So this is our dictionary app. We have a label, enter word and this is an entry widget. Entry widget is to display a single line of text. Then we have three buttons, search, refresh and exit. And these are all labels and these are all text widgets with vertical scroll bars for meaning and for synonym text widget. For certain words, we'll have a lot of meanings displayed. So that's why we have used vertical scroll bar here. Okay, now if I give a word, turn, a simple word. So I'm pressing search button. This will display the meaning, synonyms, antonyms and the Tamil meaning. If I press refresh button, all this previously searched contents will be deleted and on pressing exit, it exits from this window. Okay, this is how our app works. So now let's see how to set the GUI widgets. As I said, we have one label called enter word and text input is the entry widget and button search is for searching. Command is equal to meaning. We are calling the function meaning. We will see the functions later. And I also have a frame widget placed inside the root widget. Inside this frame, I am going to place two buttons called refresh button and exit button. On pressing refresh, this will call the function refresh. Okay. Next, we will see the labels and text widgets. This is the label and text widget for displaying meaning. This is for synonyms, antonyms and Tamil meaning. In this text widget, we have set the width, height, relief, border, font size and apart from this, I have also mentioned an option called wrap. Wrap is set to word here. If wrap is set to word, it will break the line after the last word that fits that widget. Okay. In case if you are not using this wrap is equal to word, the default option will be wrap is equal to char. It means that the line will be broken at any character. Okay. Then after creating the labels and text widgets, you can just put that widget using grid method. So grid method puts the widget in a two dimensional table that is mentioned in terms of rows and columns. And padx and padway parameters are used to leave some space between the widgets. So in that way, we have arranged everything using grid method. And finally, I have used button refresh and button exit. I have used pack method here. So make sure that you are not putting grid and pack inside the same widget. So here all these widgets, that is labels and text widgets are all placed inside the root widget. Whereas these two button refresh and exit are placed inside the frame widget. So I have used pack method here. Side is equal to left. The parameters pad x and pad y. Okay. And apart from this, you have also seen two vertical scroll bars. One for meaning and one for synonyms, right? 
these four lines are used to fit the vertical scroll bar to your text widget. So you have to create the scroll bar using this other line. Scroll bar it is placed inside the root orient is equal to vertical and you can configure that with the command is equal to the text widget name dot y view and we have an option called y scroll command for the text widget that is set to the scroll bar dot set. So this set method is used to connect the scroll bar to this text widget and then we are using grid method to place it in row 3 and column 2. Okay similarly for synonyms also we have used another vertical scroll bar and finally we have this root dot main loop statement so that application is ready to run. Now let's see what are the functions we have used. So the first function is meaning function. So we are creating an object for pi dictionary and translator and we got the input from the user and stored it in word variable and I found the meaning for the word using dictionary dot meaning of word and stored it in D. And we are checking a condition if the user doesn't enter any word at all that is if word is empty or if the user has entered a meaningless word then the D will return none. So if D is none also you can show an error message and prompt the user to enter a valid word. Okay else we are deleting the contents of all the text widgets and then we are inserting the currently found values. D is the meaning and S is the synonym of the word. A represents the antonym of the word. These are all done using the pi dictionary method. Dictionary dot synonym antonym. And to translate that word into Tamil, you are using translator dot translate method, which takes two arguments. First argument is word. And the second argument is a destination language. In this case, I want to translate that into Tamil language. So DST is equal to TA is given. And we have inserted in Tamil, which is a text widget. Okay. And in refresh method, we are just deleting all the contents of text widget and entry widgets. And please note that this app will work when you are online because it uses online by dictionary to retrieve the meaning, synonyms, antonyms and also this translator will work only if you are online. So let me execute it. Give some meaningless word. So this is a meaningless word. So you got the message. Please enter a valid word or you can give any other word okay in this case the meaning just one line uh, whereas there are a lot of synonyms so this scroll bar is enabled only for synonyms and we got the antonyms and also the Tamil meaning that's it thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe